everybody, it's your boy Beast here. I know you read the title to the video and you're thinking to yourself, what the fuck is this dude up to now? What kind of drama is he trying to start? And the truth is, nothing, not a damn thing. You know, I'm not about the drama, I'm not trying to start no drama, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. Let me just hit you with a quick metaphor so maybe you can understand where I'm coming from. When you're the champion, when you're the king, when you're number one, you're always going to have somebody breathing down your neck trying to take your spot, trying to take your crown, trying to take your championship belt. And when it comes to this fitness community, Michael Corey is the title holder. He is the champion. He is number one when it comes to the cooking. But I feel that I'm more than qualified to be that number one contender to take that spot. He ain't no Mayweather. Now, I've tried reaching out to, to homeboy on numerous occasions. I've sent them videos. I've sent him video responses, comments, questions. Never get a response. You know, even on his videos in his comment section, I've commented. Never get a response. The person above me and the person below me will get a response, but not me. But hey, it is what it is. I'm not butthurt about it. I don't give two fucks. But I do want that championship belt. That's my spot. Ain't nobody out cooking me out here. Yeah, you could call it arrogant, you could call it cocky, but I don't give a fuck. I get down in the kitchen, you know I'm a beast. You could check my videos and you see the shit I make. And I've been holding back. And I've been holding back, I've just been waiting for more subscribers before I start unleashing some crazy shit. So when you see the title, this particular title to this video, you're gonna see it more than once. You're gonna see it every two or three weeks where I'm gonna lay it down in the kitchen. I'm gonna put just straight masterpieces, real culinary art on video for you guys to make at home if you choose to, or you could just sit back and enjoy the show. They're gonna be with ingredients that you could possibly have in your pantry, in your fridge, or just ingredients that are very easily obtainable. All right, but it's just gonna be real fancy and it's gonna be real good. And um, you no, know, best of all, they're gonna be delicious. Okay, so I'm not trying to start no drama, guys, but I am gonna go every time he drops a video. I'm gonna go back to his comment section and I'm gonna say, Michael Corey, I challenge you to a cook off. And you guys, I'm pretty sure most of you are subscribed to him. Go over there and up, like my comment section, my comment, and send that bitch straight to the top so everybody sees it. Y'all comment in his videos too, with respect though. You know, be respectful because homeboy and disrespect me, so you know, there's no reason for me to come out of my face, come out of my mouth at anybody. So when you go over there, do it with respect. You know, that's how we do over here. Let him know that I want that championship belt, I want that cook off, I challenge him to this cook off. So if he doesn't reply back, if he doesn't accept, if he's not willing to do it, then so be it. I'm still going to keep making these videos and y'all still going to see some crazy looking recipes, alright? So, I've talked enough. We're going to get into this video. I'm making some stuffed flank steak with spinach and provolone cheese. Very simple. Seasoned with some adobo. You know how we do on this channel. Adobo for everything. So let's get into the recipe. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, you already know, y'all hold it down. All right, let's get the recipe started. You see I have here some flank steak, a little bit over two pounds worth. So it's safe to say that this is one big piece of meat. And you already know, that's definitely what she said. All right, now moving on to the other ingredients. You're gonna need some thinly sliced provolone cheese, some adobo with the green cap. Make sure it's the green cap because it comes with cumin already in it. And if you don't know, cumin goes perfect with beef. All right, you're also gonna need some spinach, some aluminum foil, and some nylon. I'll let you know what the nylon is for in a little bit. You're also going to need like a meat tenderizer hammer or a mallet. I don't have the ones that specifically for the kitchen, so I'm gonna get ghetto with it. I'm not gonna use it just like this, I'm gonna wash it. Then I'm gonna take a piece of aluminum foil and I'm gonna wrap it around the top of it. And I'm gonna use this to beat the meat up, to start pounding it. Not only does it tenderize it, 
but it also flattens it out more and that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to need a big flat pieces of meat so I can start stuffing it because I'm going to roll it up alright so I pretty much pounded it out pause for about you know a good seven to ten minutes I didn't time it but it did take me a minute you know my forearms were on fire this was definitely a forearm workout for real um, I flanned it out as much as I possibly could and then it made it easier for me to take that spinach that provolone and just start stuffing the actual piece of meat all right now I did with the cheese first I just laid it out you could use as many slices as you want but of course before you even do that you want to add the adobo to the meat and just rub it on and then begin with the cheese and then the spinach make sure of course you wash the spinach first and that's it you can start rolling up the meat okay and you know if once you roll it up this is probably the hardest part is when you use the nylon with a needle you're gonna need a clean needle a big size needle and you're gonna sew the edges closed all right as you can see I'm not the best I'm not a fucking seamstress I'm not the best with a needle and a thread needle and thread but it gets the job done all right just make sure you close both sides after you finish with the first side roll it up you know as you see that I did and then finish on the other side make sure you have a long enough piece of thread and just seal it up and then we're gonna begin our next step which is we're gonna use you could use a skillet you could use a grill most likely try to use a skillet or a counter top grill like I'm using and you're gonna sear that piece of meat you know you could use some olive oil or some cooking spray make sure you have it already preheated and what you want to do is roll it in the oil a little bit add more seasoning to it the more adobo rub it on top rub it on all sides all right and you're gonna start to sear sear the loaf the meat whatever you want to call it all right get it nice and browned on all sides so you're gonna have to roll it every two minutes or so you know without letting it burn without letting it overcook all right now at this point you also want to start to preheat your oven to about 350 degrees okay have an oven tray handy because you're gonna use it as soon as it's time all right now Take the loaf after you seared it of course go ahead and put it onto the piece of aluminum all right once you put it on the aluminum just roll it up and make sure you take the edges and just roll those tight of course I would do a better job without holding the camera in one hand but this is what happens when you cook without a tripod when you record without using a damn tripod but that's a whole nother story I lost my shit in the gym somewhere but anyways um roll it up put it into the aluminum foil roll up the edges transfer it to your oven tray and put it into the oven all right it should be about uh, an hour to an hour and a half I would say cook it for at least 80 minutes 75 70 minutes give or take you know and it should be done and after you take it out it's very important that you let it just rest take it out of the aluminum foil when you take it out of the oven let it rest for a while and the reason you want to do that is because the cheese is still in liquid form because it's completely melted from all the heat so you're just gonna let it cool off and so it becomes so it just hardens up a little bit and then you can start slicing it slice it into as many slices as you want as you can it tastes really really fucking good this is on point all right guys so you know just this is what I'm working with this is the type of stuff that I'm capable of doing and if I could do it then you could definitely do it this is for anybody to make this is really it seems complicated because of the nylon and the needle but it really isn't all right anybody can make this you saw that the ingredients were only four ingredients to this and it's absolutely delicious all right so when you see Michael Corey's video you go over there and tell him that I challenge him to a cook-off all right 
I'm working on my plating skills, so every every now and again you're gonna see my plating just start looking even better and better. As you see here, I have it a couple of slices with some tomatoes and some rice. My plate is looking real pretty. All right, hold me down, just like I'm gonna hold you down. All right, Michael Corey, if by any chance you're watching this, homeboy, you got yourself some competition, man. I'm dropping these videos all the time recipes all week long this is what we do over here on this channel you know I'm gonna hold it down I appreciate you guys watching you know I'm gonna see you in the next video shortly y'all be good enjoy your weekend and of course y'all hold it down